Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Kentucky played at home tonight. They played in Rupp Arena. Uh, they played against a team that badly needed themselves a win to get themselves back in the NCAA tournament picture. And that was the Florida Gators. 23 points from Walter Clayton Jr. 22 points from Tyree Samuel, who also had 13 rebounds. 21 points, seven boards, seven assists from Zion Pullen. The first time in John Calipari's tenure that an opposing team has gone into Rupp Arena, had three guys go for 20 points. Florida gets the win, 94-91. This is the ISO time, John. This is where we clear out. This is where we let Matt McCall cook. That's what you Gators, man. Great win for Todd Golden. Everyone everyone wanted to say, can he get the signature win? He hasn't had a signature win since he's been the head coach of Florida. Going into Rupp Arena, that's a signature win, and they got it done. I thought late in the game, Reed Shepard on the pick-and-roll coverage, you know, he was so consumed with the, with the role, running over there and trying to maybe even protect, and it was his protection. You can't leave Walter Clayton. You cannot leave him. And he turned his head for a second, and that's all Walter Clayton needed. Um, and and got a great shot, got it up. I think he made seven threes in the game total. Was just outstanding. Going into Rupp Arena is difficult to do. Florida's an NCAA tournament team. Todd Golden's got them playing well. That's a big time win for them to be able to do that. Goes back to the question, foul up three. I don't know if you saw the clip, but when Dillingham went to the free throw line, he makes the first one, and Calipari kind of turns to his staff, and he's kind of you know questioning – I don't know if he said, do we find, and then Dillingham misses this. The staff's like, no, we're okay. And then Dillingham misses the second one. And those are the situations that you have to prepare for. I think Kentucky's still really good. I think you look at their team last year to this year, they executed such a high clip way better this year. Uh, they were missing some guys tonight. Obviously, DJ Wagner didn't play in the game. But for Florida to go into Rupp Arena and get that win and perform the way they did, you know, they, they have you're closing out those games. They've been in a lot of those games. They closed this one out, and that's a great win for Todd Golden. The Gators are an NCAA tournament team. Uh, yeah, they were. Um, they were one of the teams that was kind of on the right on the bubble when we did fielding the '68 on Monday night, and I'm sure uh, they were the last team in. Yeah, the last team in. So they're right there on the cut line um, when it comes to teams getting into the NCAA tournament. Obviously, going on the road and picking up a win at Kentucky uh, is a big deal. <laughs> Before we talk and about here's the, the other thing, the, here's the other thing, though, Rob. Here's the other yeah. thing: when when you win a game on the road, if you beat a team on the road, and then you turn around and you play them at home, and John knows this, human nature creeps in. Hey, we're going to be fine. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll beat these guys. We we beat them at their place in front of a sold out crowd, and we'll turn around. And we'll be fine when we play them at home. That like fighting human nature in terms of that is a challenge, especially for a young team. That was down a couple players, you know, for Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Like Florida's, Florida's crappy. They fight. They're tough. You know, they're one of the best rebounding teams in the SEC. And for Kentucky, hey, we beat them at their place. It was sold out. It was nuts in there. We celebrated. Probably did the Gator Chomp. And, you know, after they beat them, and I know we're not allowed to do horns down. That's a no-no. But, you know, you can do the Gator <laughs> Chomp and nobody gets their feelings hurt or upset. So Kentucky's going home to play that game. They're like, hey, we already beat these guys. We'll be fine. And Florida took full advantage because that human nature piece, you know, once you beat a team at home or once you beat a team on the road, you turn around, you got them in your building with a young team, you think you're going to be fine. Yep. All right. Before we get before we get into Kentucky here, um, I do want to ask you guys about uh, the fouling of three thing. All right. Here's my pitch. We are not on either of those benches. You're not coaching in Kentucky. Henson, you're not playing for Kentucky. I am not on Kentucky's roster right now. I'm not on their coaching staff. We are observers. We are fans. We are here to experience the wonderful moments that come with the end of college basketball games. And you know what we got tonight? We got Walter Clayton Jr. not getting fouled when he was down three, throwing a pump fake, watching Reed Shepard go flying by and burying a three to force overtime, which was the highlight and probably the best uh, outside of Chris Collins, the best moment in college basketball <laughs> tonight on a night where we have the number one team in the country playing a thriller, the number two team in the country playing an overtime game, the number 10 team in the country losing at home. That was the best moment of the night. 
never foul up three, never root for someone to foul up three because it takes away those those awesome moments at the end of the game that we remember. Did I convince you, McCall? Are we there? Henson, you, did I convince you? I get you? it as a fan. I, as a fan, I get it. As a fan. As, as, a, as fan. a fan, I want you to try to win the game, so that's what pissed me off, honestly. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I'm going to be mad. Like, you know, hey, what, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Like, foul them. Like, you want to win, don't you? Like, that would that would irk me. But every coach strategy different. I, I think fouling, just percentage-wise, you know, you got to make a whole nother trip. You know, they could miss. There's a lot of more – there's a lot more variation that could happen by fouling. So, you know, I think they should have probably fouled in hindsight. But here's the thing, too, that Calipari in that situation, right, he's not trying to jinx his shooter. So he doesn't want to tell his team in the moment. Like, you got to bring your point guard over and say, hey, if he misses this, fouling. Like, he misses this for fouling. You don't want to bring the whole team over because your player's going to look at you like, coach, you don't think I'm going to make this? Like, Dillingham's going to be like, I'm going to make this. So it's like you can't announce it to everyone. you got to somehow echo that message. Hey, if this one doesn't go in – the second one, which is a live ball, we are fouling. We are – it's just – it's kind of this double-edged that's, that's sword. A, that's a good point because Coach Williams was very, very superstitious with the free throws. Like, if he, if he wanted to sub you out, he wouldn't even look down the bench until you shot your second free throw. Then he'd grab someone. Or, Same. like you said, if he had something to say or something that could potentially throw you off because he's maybe anticipate he would he, – he would – He's going to let it go. So Same. that's a good point. Henson, I point. wouldn't even send the guy to the table until they handed him the second one. Because I didn't want yep, him yep. thinking, oh, man, I'm coming out of the game. So before yep, yep. I would I would send him to the table once the referee threw him the ball for the second free throw. Because I didn't want him being messed up. Like, no, you got to make this. Focus on shooting the free throw. Yep. yep. That's what he, 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 he right, would to gotta... hey, come in. And then you run over. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.